We are here together in the sight of God and in the presence of friends and family and all the loved ones to recognize, witness, celebrate, bless. Dear Juan, we've been through a lot in eight and a half years. Hours long conversations, long distance, reliving happy childhood memories together. Do you remember how our first conversation was about martial arts? Well, I thought of that again recently, and it reminded me of this quote I read a long time ago. Love is like a friendship caught on fire. In the beginning, a flame very pretty, often hot and fierce, but still only light and flickering. As love grows older, our hearts mature and our love becomes as coals, deep burning and unquenchable. In this family to you, Juan, I can tell you from experience that you have gotten the best friends in you two are so amazing together, and I can tell how much happiness you bring each other. One night we were, you know, shopping for clothes. He, he actually told me he was thinking of proposing to Jamie and what I thought. And I told him, like, straight out, you're never going to find someone more perfect than Jamie. As a daughter, that we have been thinking about her as a daughter for the last eight and a half years. Dear Jamie, as I take this leap with you, I recall several big moments in our time together that tells me that we're going to be all right. It may not be the most romantic thing in the world, but I mainly think of our first fight. Yeah, it's, it's weird to think of that on the day that we're supposed to talk about love and think only happy thoughts, but I find comfort not in the fight itself. I didn't know it then, but that meant the world to me, because it meant that even though we will have the inevitable bad times, when we finally got through them, we could leave it in our past. You're the daylight shining through my gloomy day, the caramel on my ice cream, the icing on my cake, the misty to my ash, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Con amor, Juan. <laughs>